Hey, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. It's your girl, Mercy. Um, so earlier today, I was trying to record uh, a new moon energy reading, right? Because today is a full moon. Is the new moon. So I was trying to tell you guys how, you know, manifest. Make sure you write down uh, what you want to see come to pass. And it's going to come to pass. But for some reason, I tried three times, Google those three, and every last time the video messed up or something. So I'm going to try one more time right before my little, um, before I go take my little manifestation bath, you know, got my rose petals, got my apples, got my, mm, uh, uh, I can't even think about it. But anyway, got my little smell good up in there. Anyway, so let me get into this energy before I go. And dive in. Ooh. <laughs> if it's your first of all, channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Okay, spirit, angels of the most high. Give us messages of love and life for this beautiful new moon. Mm, I feel a lot of abundance, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I just feel like any day, like, like eight mil is just popping my account. I know, right? I'm really thinking very, very. Abundant energies, energy, energy, messages of love and life are collected for this full moon, for this new moon, full moon, new moon, spirit, angels, <laughs> it's like they popping out, popping right back in, messages of love and life are beautiful collective, I feel like maybe some things are going to, you're going to get a lot of surprises this new moon, I feel like there's a lot of energy going around, but there's going to be a lot of surprise victories, and I just feel like a lot of people are going to be shocked at what this month is bringing in. First thing we have is Three of Cups. So Three of Cups uh, speaks of celebration. I feel like union. Somebody wants to come in and celebrate something with you. Um, I feel like somebody wants to reveal something to you. How Maybe how in the past they could have done something wrong by you. Okay, first thing that popped out was this King of Swords. So the King of Swords is, is speaking of somebody that's very stern and logical. Um, someone that is uh, could be an attorney, someone that's good with their words, uh, very good with uh, dialect and delivering. And with the Three of Cups in this, and this King of Swords, it makes me feel like uh, somebody's going to come in or you want to talk to somebody. Uh, somebody wants to come in and talk to you about some type of gathering or uh, coming together. Somebody wants to come together with you. I think in the past, they could have put you in a third party situation because I see the three and then the sword. So they could, this could be somebody that hurt you in the past that wants to come in and, you know, kind of want to bring some type of clarity to the situation at hand. Next thing we came out was the Empress. So the Empress card speaks of growth. This is somebody who, who you could have children with, or this could be somebody that, uh, um, who wanted to have children with you, who saw a future with you. And, um, and I feel like in the past, this person may have put, may have put other people before you, but you were really the main focus, but I don't feel like they were being clear about it. But now we have the King of Swords. I feel like either you're cutting out things that are not bringing you growth or they're coming back in and, or, and another portion of this could be they're coming back in trying to bring about clarity why whatever happened in the past because they want to feel like they want to um, grow with you they want to expand they want to impregnate you then I have this king of cups so right now we have two kings so this king of cups is somebody who is uh who has a lot of emotions for you somebody who wants to um wants to go deeper into a, a, co a commitment with you. I feel like you could have two options, two people coming your way at this time. <laughs> yeah, I see you could have two people coming your way at this time, uh, King of Cups. And, and I feel like um, collective, this could be your energy, the King of Swords, like you're cutting off things that are not bringing uh, stability or partnership with you. If someone isn't working with you, then you're not you're leaving that alone. And with the three of cups and the empress is a three. I feel like there's going to be a lot, uh, you're going to have people that's going to want to come in and work with you within, within like these next couple of days. I feel like you're going to have people that's just going to want, people just going to want to be around you collective. Okay. 
We have the hangman. I feel like this person or whoever this is that wants to come in, uh, who wants to come in and celebrate with you, it could be around your birthday or it could be something. I feel like this person could be trying to travel to you and they want to hang out, uh, explore, um, just explore things with you. But I feel like you're in this hangman position, which is a 12, which is three. So we have three, three, three here. Um, I feel like you are you are indecisive on even coming back together with this person because in the past this person left you suspended in the air like they left you confused not knowing where you both stand and you feel that if you were to go back into this situation this person will leave you drowning in your emotions and then we have the hermit hermit card I feel like you're keeping your distance you're not communicating with this person and I feel like this is your way of uh, energetically trying to tell them like, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I see. I feel like you had took some time to go in. You had to really uh, see what this relationship or what this, um, what this partnership was. And I feel like it was nothing what you thought it was supposed to be. And it's like you stop, uh, I feel like because with this King of Swords here, this is like somebody want to make clarity now. So in the past, this person was not clear. I feel like when things started to get a little tough, they would just leave you um, without any communication. And I feel like you had to use wisdom to actually cut this person off because this person um, was pretty lost in their darker side. And now they're trying to come back in for this um reconciliation or this reconnecting and they don't know how to come back in because of their past and I feel like right now you are in you're in hermit mode I feel like you're staying to yourself for the most part it's because you're you're getting ready to birth something to the world that I don't think that they are people are ready for and I see right in here that you have you have options you have some you have two people that want to come in, one person that's focusing on the past, and you have one person that is looking at you, watching you, studying you. You probably don't even I don't even think you're paying attention to this person because you're so busy doing self-care, trying to be uh fruitful, being um what's the word I'm looking for? It's like you're 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 implementing self-love. But anyway, you're like doing a lot of self-love. And I feel like right now with the seven of wands, uh, you're in this empress energy, meaning people are looking at you. People are gravitating towards you. And not just that, but you are about to have a lot of options. And I feel like right now, the options are these two people coming in. I feel like it's one person from the past that's trying to rekindle from some type of heart heartbreak they, they've inflicted on you. And you have this king of cups that is sitting there just watching you and uh, debating on when, when they're going to make a move. Because they're trying to see when is the best time for this. I feel like you went into hermit mode because you've been... I feel like you've been sifting out all of the people that you know are snake. All of the people that you know are lie, have lied. All of, I feel like your energy is so strong right now, collective, that if somebody is coming in wanting to be sneaky like a snake, they're going the other way because your power is so strong at this time. It's like they know you're going to cut their ass off. It's like, no, let me not mess with with the collective today because clearly they ready to cut somebody's head off, especially because I know I'm coming with that bullshit. <laughs> okay, then we have the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person, the King of Cups, this person is feeling trapped in their mind because they feel they want to come and say something to you, but they don't know how. It's kind of like... They have, uh, they are mature in their emotions for you, but I feel like they're trapped in their head on moving forward towards you because you have two people. This person is somebody that you probably don't know, somebody that you're not paying attention to if they are in your vicinity, but I feel like you're moving towards them. This person in the past, you have your back towards them because you're not looking forward to anything with them because you still feel that they are in this deceptive energy. We have this two of cups, this person... Oh, damn. This person, uh, <clears throat> you both have from your past is a very strong spiritual connection. And I feel like at this point, they don't want to let you go. And this is what you are, um, you are getting knowledge about. It's like, you know, this, this connection is, is, uh, very strong. 
if you had past lives together, but at the same time, you're growing. I feel like you are growing and you feel that this person is probably not going to be able to grow with you, especially if they're just now coming, talking about the situation. Because I feel like this situation that, that uh, you, are, you guys are going through could have been something that has been a long waited. And right now, we have the Four of Cups. So it's like, with the Four and the Two of Cups, this person wasn't given to you. And now you're like, you're not even paying attention to what this is. It's like in the past, you just knew this was a strong connection. You just knew that this person was your person. This person was the end all be all. And then as soon as, you know, you're having this encounter with this person, it's like, this person is nothing what they said they were going to be. This person was a liar, a manipulator. This person brought other people into y'all's relationship, not just the ones they were having entanglements with, but I feel like a uh, friend's uh, opinions. And right now, I feel like you're in the energy of cutting this person off. You went in, you made up your mind, you decided what was best for you. And now you are leaving that in the past. You're not focused on this person. And this person is looking at the past. I feel like this person is regretting not uh, celebrating you with you in the past or staying in this hangman energy. And I feel like they, you offered this person a cup of love in the past and they refused it. And now it's kind of like, okay, she, well, she or he is blowing up. They're the empress now. So let me see if they'll revisit my, you know, revisit this. Anyway, we have the higher fan. This is fine. This is change. The higher fan speaks of, um, long-term contracts. It speaks of, uh, Weddings, it speaks of union, it speaks of uh, something that's going to be in your life for a long time. So I feel like right now, uh, collective, that you are going through this massive change because you are, you're pregnant with gifts, you're pregnant with something that's going to feed the world, you're pregnant with something that is going to benefit the collective as a whole. Yes, you're a motherfucking superhero, Collective. This is you. You're a superhero. Anybody tell you different, they're a lie. Anyway, so yeah, so I feel like and right now you're being cautious on what you're picking because you're having so many options. People from A lot of people from the past are coming out and you know that retrograde, we're about to move into another one. So you have a lot of people coming in from the past, people who want to just get the record straight, people who just want to talk to you. You're going to have people who just want to be around you. And also you have new love coming in. This person, whoever this person is, is um, feeling trapped. I feel like when when the time comes for this person, I feel that uh, this person is going to want long, long-term uh, relationship. And not just that, but I feel like this person is a soulmate. Then we have the five of ones. There's going to be conflict. Yeah, I feel like the two people, like either... Either collective, as you start to move forward with this King of Cups that you may not know or you may know, uh, I feel like this is more when your past is going to show up. And even though I feel like that the past has been up the past for a while, I feel like certain emotions are going to start to uh, develop because it shows here that you guys do have a strong spiritual connection. And I feel like this person isn't talking to you right now, but they're sending out their energy to you. And I feel like you're trying to ignore it. Like, like if you toss it at night, it's because they're, they're thinking about you. If, if, if like you're doing good and all of a sudden they just pop up in your head it's because they are manifesting you in their mind. They're manifest. They're trying to talk to you uh, in a 5D. It's like they're not calling you in a 3D, but they're thinking about you like, let collective call me. Let collective call me. You know, it's crazy, but energy do work like that. That's the reason why I can't sleep, baby. I can't do nothing if I, I can't be with you, baby. I can't breathe, baby. Hey, your your person is in their feels. Like, this person is really in their feelings. I feel like they can't breathe without you. I feel like you, your mind is starting to consume their thoughts. And there's no rest. I feel like on the outside, they're probably showing this, uh, like they doing good, everything is everything. But behind closed doors, they thinking about you, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, message. Spirit, what is this? Let me uh, break this down a little bit. Spirit, what is this five of wands? I feel like there's about to be some conflict or you might be conflicted within yourself. I feel like you have so many options that you have so many options that people are competing for you at this time. And I feel like this person is watching you on social media because they're seeing you pick your options. It's like this person did you wrong in the past, right? And then it's like, cause you were offering this beautiful, uh, offer of love, you know, cause you were all, you know, ready to dive in, give your love. But this person ignored you. This person probably cut you off cold turkey, had different people in y'all relationships, you know, very immature. And then now I feel like, now since now since you pulled your energy back and it's like you're not feeding it to them this person is watching you this person is trying to come back to you and it's like you're glowing up like it's like a woman's a woman's glow when she's when she's pregnant it's like she her skin is more vibrant she just looks fruitful and this is what he, this person is seeing and then we have the two of cups again in a different deck this is the conflict. You, oh my God, you're going to have to choose between either your divine counterpart, which could be a masculine. If I'm talking to females, you're, you're, you're going to have to make a strong decision against your divine counterpart and the soulmate that's coming in. Yep. Yeah. That's it. You're going to have to make a decision and that's going to be the conflict within yourself. Spirit, what is this higher fan? The Hierophant is somebody with the Three of Pentacles. Is somebody willing to work with you? Somebody ready to, for somebody that's going to put in the work to make this relationship work out. And that's what's coming to you. I feel like this, the person that you're leaving could be like the father of your children or the mother of your children. And it's like you guys been through ups and downs and stuff. And this, it could be your divine masculine, but it's like they can't get right. And you're choosing, I, I feel like you went in, you know, you stopped communicating with them. You're like, you were indecisive at first, but you're like, you know what? I don't want this. And now at a time, like, it's like, you want to love me. back then. They didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all don't say back then. They didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all know me. That's how it feels. It feels like back then, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't, they wasn't respecting your, they wasn't respecting respecting who you was and now it's like now that you all glowed up now you know your face bright been drinking your water getting all your exercises your 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 own sit everything just coming together now they want to come in and let me be down suck these nuts i mean i ain't <laughs> but yeah pretty much spirit what is the seven of cups i feel like you have a lot of options Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I knew it was going to come out, y'all. I'm not lying. I've been seeing a lot of pregnancy in October. So, collect them. With this right here, I feel like there are so many options coming in. With the moon card, these are options that you have no idea. And I feel like this is connected with this king of cups. I feel like this is going to be an option, but you're not aware of it yet. You don't know who this person is. This person is watching you. This person is trying to come in to see who you are. And this person, these people are passionate. So I feel like both of these people are staring at you. The person from your past and this new person that you're probably not paying attention to. And I feel like the the moon card for, for the, because you have options, because you could choose your past or you could choose your beginning. Either way, they both have passion for a, this, the, the, both of these people. And I feel like you have more than two, but you know. And I feel like both these people are very, very attracted to you. Very, very passionate. And I feel that the person in the past probably has some good, good. And they feel you got some good, good. And not just that, but because this came out right up under the Empress, it's guaranteed pregnancy. It's like, this is, this is like the magic stick. And this is the fertile, beautiful goddess. When you bring one and two together, you already know you got to be fruitful. And then you see all these little fish and stuff on her shoulder. Like, it just... So, I just want to say, in the month of October, uh, collective, <clears throat> you're going to get a lot of options. But with these options, going to come babies if you 
put it in. <laughs> I'm just saying, look, you got somebody from your past who I feel like is very good in that department, who's very passionate. And the thing is, the reason why the moon card came out with that is because they're not telling you how they truly feel. They are head over heels for you. They're actually going crazy. It's the reason why I feel like they're going to communicate with you really soon. And then not just that, but you have this King of Cups who you are do not know that, which is an option, but is about to come up as well. And then with that, it's like whichever option you choose, if you don't want to have a baby because you're fertile myrtle. And I feel like even people who, who want to have kids who have not had any, like this will be the time that you will pop up pregnant. I'm just saying it's in the air. It's in the atmosphere. I can feel it in the atmosphere. But yeah, so... That's what I got for you, Collective. Uh, this new moon is going to be crazy. Clearly, you have uh, soul ties. You have uh, soulmates and divine connections that are here, that are here and present that you are currently dealing with. You have conflict. You got competition. People are competing for your love. You are the light. You are the light. Not just that, but we got babies on the way. So if you're not trying to have no baby, you better strap it up. Especially if it's somebody from your past that you know probably wasn't that honest. You go better strap it up because you know they got some good good. And if you fall into they, they smooth talking criminal, you're going to be caught up. They won't let you out. And with this person right here, uh, if there's somebody else that's about to be coming really soon. This full moon is about to bring out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of conflict for the other people because you're blowing up and people want you. You hot. You hot commodity. Anywho, let me pull two cards from the Oracle deck and then I'm going to go get into my manifestation bath. It's calling my name. Mm -hmm. Messages of love and light give us messages for our beautiful collectors for this new moon. Blue moon. Okay, we have boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure. So I feel like the person uh, that's coming in from your past, looks like you're going to be closing that out. You're going to be closing that cycle out. You say new new things. Then we have Cupid's arrow. Okay, I'm taking all of these. Twin flames, see? That's your divine counterpart. All these cards coming out. Okay, so the first card I got is Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. So I feel like... Somebody's coming for you, baby. So you're letting go of old situation and you're going to push forward to this new situation. But please be mindful. These are life-changing events that are happening. And if you let somebody in, you will have a life-changing event. For the men, you will have a baby. For the women, you will have a baby because you got people all around you. They're passionate and ready to show you their magic stick. Then we have the dragonfly or they magic or they walk. <laughs> ready to show you they walk <laughs> pineapples whatever okay so we have the dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things coming out i feel like the person for your past is going to want to come and clear up some things i told you they don't want to tell you what happened in the past and it's like when you when they start telling you things these are things that you've already known so <clears throat> when they start telling you just laugh it off huh, huh, okay you know because you're moving on anyway and then we have twin flame yin and yang <clears throat> uh complete uh complimenting each other so like i said with the divine masculine this would have been your twin flame this could be somebody that you're moving away from or you're moving towards so <clears throat> if this person in your past isn't your divine flame they were a strong uh strong soulmate and you're moving towards your divine masculine and if this this person was was your divine masculine you're leaving your divine masculine because it just can't get right and you're moving towards um you're moving towards a uh, strong soulmate energy. And then we have, I like you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blowing fun, flirting, and dating. So I feel like this person over here who's ever scared, they scared, though. Tell them, we don't want nobody that's scared. You better come up in this new moon thing like you know what you want, know what you're doing. Anyway. So this person likes you and you're about to get messages of that. You're probably about to start dating, but I feel like you won't be dating long because somebody's already watching you and they have you on their to-do list. I mean, no, like they probably got you on that to-do list, but meaning that they want to bring something stable. And let me get one more card to just clarify who this King of Cups is. Spirit, angels, and most high. This is King of Cups that's coming for our collective. Who's this King of Cups? Oh my snapping God! 
Yo, we got, oh my gosh, look, I told you, I told you. I'm getting excited. Yo, we got the lovers. This King of Cups is about to be a lover. I mean, I want to be a lover. I want to just stand. Baby, this does somebody want to be your love? I mean, they want the relationship dynamic. I feel like in the past, this person, the person in the past that's coming up, they didn't give you that relationship dynamic you wanted. Like they just gave you like that, like that. If it was a night of a night of wands, you know, they just want the let me bang, 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 bang. But they end up falling in love, and then now. You got love on the way in the moon card again. So, I mean, you don't even know who this is. This is a surprise from the universe, yo. You about to get some. Mm -mm. So, anybody who's been missing out on some of that good loving, I want to make love, love, love. Like the very, very, very first time. I want to make love. Anyway. I want to tell you that it's all my, 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 my. Hey, also, I just, clarification, this person that's coming in, they're going to want you all to their self. They don't have a playboy energy. You, I feel like this dynamic that is shifting the collective into something very solid and stable. So in the past, if you had like up and down type of relationships, people did non-committal. And it, and it was like you had to learn to love you first. And so you start loving you now, you got somebody that want to love you. And they're going to want everybody to know you there. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. Have a great day. Love yourself.